So good morning everybody. Selamat pagi from the friends from uh, Indonesia and welcome back to the IELP Global uh, Chat. As you maybe probably understand for people who are watching to today and this afternoon we will connect live from the beautiful uh, Indonesia. Uh, today we will talk as usual about corona uh, virus and the situation all around the world. Uh, related to COVID-19. But as usual, I want to emphasize that we will not talk about the negative things about coronavirus, but we'll talk about the positive things and what actually happened all around um, the world. Today, we will fly virtually to the beautiful Indonesia, so I don't want to waste my time. And let me welcome the first guest live from Rome, from the Embassy of Indonesia, uh, to Rome, so welcome. Thank you. Good morning. Buongiorno. Selamat sore in Indonesia, everyone. Oh, of course, uh, you introduced a, a new term for me. Selamat sore is, of course, I understand it's afternoon or <laughs> evening, evening in Indonesia. Yeah. In Indonesia. Uh, that, Dalan, you have to know that every time I connect uh, with a new country, my first thing is to learn uh, the language. So I'm very <laughs> thank you. <Right>. Thanks for <laughs> thanks to, 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 thankful to you. So uh, Dalang Guasquito is a um, counselor at the embassy uh, uh, of the Indonesian um, to Rome. So oh, thanks a lot. Thank you uh, for uh, joining us today. A great thank you to, uh, to the embassy. Uh, you were posted in uh, February uh, of this year. Not yeah. a great yeah. welcome <laughs> from the eternal city uh, yeah. to you. What is the situation and what's your feeling about this? period of corona time just to understand it yeah um this is right time for me because i have uh, experiencing you know COVID here in in italy because you're right that i just arrived here in italy since february 2020 so uh one month after i arrived the COVID uh, happened and then lockdown happened of course it bring me what is like sort of misery or negative things but I always believe that uh, if we can uh, cope that one with the situation, we will wake up. We will we will back uh, with more uh, you know stronger. Of course, uh, right now uh, because of the COVID, for example, in my case, I haven't get any. Uh, I I have not get my my permanent accommodation, so I still stay oh, wow. in in a, in, a, in a temporary accommodation. But uh, I believe that uh, this is this is the right decision. The lockdown is the right decision because, uh, of course, after all, this is about our our safety and our health. Yeah, definitely uh, true. Because we have to uh, find out a good solution to get out. And for Italy, that one sure. is one of the most uh, affected country all around the world for coronavirus. This could be the only way uh, uh, to get out. Uh, before beginning our this, uh, global live chat, we also have later a uh, connection uh, live from uh, uh, from Indonesia. Let me uh, read a bit of your bio. So, uh, Dalang Guasquito was posted three times in Cairo, Egypt, from 2005 yeah. to 2009, then the, to the Netherlands from 2012 and 2016, and uh, finally in the eternal city of mm -hmm. Rome, on Italy. But of course, you are uh, ILP 2018 uh, Asian, so you uh, participated to this uh, amazing experience. Yeah. Uh, I want to ask you, maybe many people know, of course, the, the, the importance of an embassy, but can you explain uh, what is the role of an embassy, of embassy in Indonesia to Italy in this case, and uh, what's the aim of this, uh, of the embassy? Yeah. Okay, actually, there are so many functions of the embassy. Uh, we can we can name it, for example, like uh, you know, strengthening cooperation between Indonesia and I and Italy, yeah. and also uh, promoting cooperation and reporting and so on. But I think uh, one of important uh, function right now is protection, protecting of mm -hmm. our nationals, especially wow. during this uh, COVID pandemic uh, in Italy. So yeah. I think um, yeah, we have so many functions. But uh, may, maybe one of important function right now is protection of our nationals. Definitely. So uh, this is a very uh, important issue and topic, uh, especially for the people, of course, living in another country with another culture, other uh, tradition. 
how can be useful for them uh, find, uh, uh, we can say, a, a friend to uh, the specific country. And of course, uh, I know that you also made a great job to helping Indonesian in, uh, in Italy, uh, that you are dealing with this. I, I will show some picture while you are talking. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So you uh, actually, um, uh, many Indonesian, of course, uh, the first place the way they go is, uh, of course, uh, to the embassy, of course. They try to, to have a help from you. Exactly. I think now we have like more than 3,000 Indonesian nationals living wow. here in Italy. Wow. And uh, we still have like uh, thousands of Indonesian crews who work wow. in the Indonesian, uh, Italian, I mean, who work in right. Italian cruise ship company. So I think there are a lot of Indonesian here, uh, thousands. And again, uh, what is, we have so many programs during this COVID-19 uh, pandemic in Italy. At least if I can explain, we have four okay. important programs, uh, Pierre. The first yeah. one is like dissemination of information because uh, you know, we know that information is really important in this trying yeah. situation, in these trying times. So because of this uh, importance, we set up task force task force for COVID-19 at the embassy. And then we also set up hotlines, special hotlines, um, that everybody can contact this hotline. Everybody can uh, can ask anything about the regulation in Indonesia, about the regulation in Italy, what happened in Italy, and many questions. And all these uh, things is 24 seven. So we work wow. 24 hours and seven days. And, wow. and, and uh, yeah, just to give uh, the best service for, for our nationals, but also for Italian who needs information about Indonesia. Of course. And during this trying situation, we also set up the so-called like uh, we are group, WhatsApp group with Indonesian oh. nationals here. And we always communicating with them, asking them what happened in, in your area. Uh, are there any updates? Are there any COVID infections among Indonesian and so on? So I think this is uh, lovely. So that is, that, that is the, the, the first program. The second program is uh, the embassy has distributed logistics because we know that uh, during these uh, trying you know, times, during the COVID-19, yeah. during yeah. lockdown, it's really if uh, affected many, many aspects of life. So that's why the embassy distributed logistics, sanitary things, for example, like... Yeah. Uh, mask and then uh, gloves and also vitamins and also uh, what is like daily daily products for example like noodles and so on we distribute it to indonesian communities to indonesian crews in in italy and then wow. the third one uh, the embassy uh, together with the with the italian principals uh, company of uh, crews we, we we have uh, repatriated our nationals back to Indonesia because we know that uh, again during this situation uh, many of crews they, they they want to get to get back to their home and then uh, we we facilitate that one and uh, and and there are also some doing self repatriation using the commercial uh, airlines and we facilitate that one. And I think the, the, the last one, uh, the, the fourth program, is how we strengthen the mental and spiritual of our nationals here. Um, you know, Pierre, and, and also other viewers, that this month, actually, we are celebrating uh, the, the, the fasting month, the, yeah. Ramadan, time, uh, the, Ramadan. the Ramadan month. This is the yeah. time for us for fasting. And then still, there are so many Indonesian crews here. For example, in, in Rome, they are performing the uh, fasting Ramadan. And we Important. provide them with uh, what is like online platform. Embassy, wow. we have uh, the so-called, the program called Web Rahma. Web, it is abbreviation from We Will Be Better. And then Rahma, it is abbreviation from Indonesian language. Rahma, Ramadan, penuh berkah. That's mean uh, in English, a blessed Ramadan. So we provide them with a sermon, for example, and also there is a program for children, for women, reciting Holy Quran and so on. I mean, I mean, in this uh, trying time, again, mental, spiritual is important. It's and very important. 
want to make sure that everything is okay, that they are uh, strong uh, during this time, that after all, Andri Tuto Bene, everything will be okay. Yeah. Yeah, Andra. definitely. Yes. yes. And Andra, <laughs> of course, we we hope uh, we are sure that Andra Tuto Bene, everything will go uh, on. And uh, not only before we saw some picture of the ambassador S.T. Andayani and of course the George Lanzo, the, uh, the pillars of the embassy and all. Uh, let me say a, a great thank you to our embassy because uh, we had a great cooperation among them. And last, last year we had uh, two brilliant Indonesian students that joined uh, our uh, work on NGO in Italy uh, mm -hmm. at the uh, simulation of WFP. Your work is not only, of course, uh, of course, in just to Indonesian, but uh, I know you made it uh, a wonderful video. When I saw it, I was very emotional to hug virtually also Rome and uh, the Romans. So uh, let's try to, uh, to 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 share also this video because uh, I think is is a is a mm, nice uh, thing to to add mm. uh, to hug uh, Rome with the. Uh, this video. So let's let's see and share together. This is uh, part of this uh, wonderful and very emotional uh, video that you uh, made it together. What what was the sense of this uh, video, Tanang? Yeah, actually, this is about sharing, caring, and uh, support. This video, uh, we made this one. Of course, the idea came from our ambassador, Ambassador Esti Andayani. Uh, we know and we see how hard the frontliner works, how hard care workers working during this pandemic. So that's why this is about our support to the uh, frontliners, to doctors, to nurses, to police, to care workers, to, to pharmacies, and also for Indonesian, also for the online workers, for example. We have Ojol, for yeah. example, because uh, during the lockdown, usually everything is just locked down. But, uh, you know, this frontliners working very hard they have they taken the risk their health risk and so on so that's why it is it is uh, i think this is just a must for us to share yeah. uh, our support for them so i think this is support for frontliners both in italy and in indonesia for sure definitely but let's fly virtually now not only from rome let's take this virtual flight because at for now, we can only do uh, this. Let's see also what happened in Indonesia. To add tonight, and so for, for the Indonesian tonight, we also have uh, the opportunity to have uh, Lucia from Indonesia. So let me welcome the, the other guest. Lucia, how are you? Good, good. Hello. Thank you for, yeah. <laughs> thank, you for thank you for joining us. Lucia, how are you? Are you? Yes. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. So, Hello? Uh, I, yeah. I I learned from uh, Danang that uh, I have to say uh, Salamat Suare to you, not Salamat Pagi, of course. So it's, it's correct. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we try, we try to to try to. So, yeah. Lucia, thank you, thank you for joining us in this um, live IVLP uh, chat. From Indonesia, uh, where in which city are you in Indonesia? Uh, 
I stay in Batam Island, so it's a small island. Only like around 1.2 million people live in Batam Island, and we are very close with uh, Singapore. So oh. it is it, uh, Batam Island. It's beautiful and nice island. So I hope of, you. Of can course, I'm. <laughs> oh, yeah, someday. <laughs> Of course, as all Indonesia, because I think there's not one single spot in Indonesia that is not beautiful. Yeah, many of, of many of us. So, yeah. So, um, so uh, Lucia, uh, what's your feeling for uh, this um, coronavirus? What is your uh, sensation? How, how are you living this coronavirus period? Uh, of course, like like so many people feel that we are a, a little bit of worry and afraid because like you know we we stay in batam island we are very close with singapore and malaysia and both of two countries are they 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 doing lockdown so we also yeah. uh effect with 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 this uh consequences so yeah it, it's very sad because a lot of small business are closed because of the coronavirus. Include me as a small business. I also I have to close my business for a while. Uh, we have to respect our government. Yeah, but wow. as a founder of of uh, Cinderella from Indonesia Center. So now I 100% my my activity focus for helping people so yeah uh, i think like i i i would like to help the government yeah. supporting our communities yeah i i take part in, in street children and then uh uh orphanage. i focus on the kids now wow so it's a very important job that you are made it for the social so uh, the Nang and the Embassy of Indonesia helping Indonesia outside of the country, in mm -hmm. this case in Italy, and you with your uh, social entrepreneur, you are uh, helping uh, Indonesian also to uh, to Italy. So before to begin, just to um, to read a quick. So you was uh, also an ideal fee on economic development uh, in 2011. So you participate. Yes, and then you open this. Cinderella from Indonesia. It, it, it's a very fantastic name because at the first time I, I see you with this crown and a real Cinderella from Indonesia. So what's the aim of this uh, NGO? Uh, yeah, so uh, like IPLP encouraged me to open the, the, the Cinderella from Indonesia Center. So I got the idea. And then also if you know about our social enterprise, uh, I made a doll. I'm, I'm creating a job uh, for women inmates in 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 prisons uh, since 2012 2012 so I got the idea from my IVLP okay even Cinderella Indonesia and the Bati girl is I got from IVLP and then like I said to you that we uh, uh, foundation we don't have a permanent donator so that's why I start a social enterprise. We make money by by a started a prison industry. So so far we 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 create a job for 150 women inmates, but because okay. of the coronavirus, I have to close. I have to close uh, for a while because we can we are not allowed to visit a prison during the coronavirus. And yeah. then in 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 2000 like january 2020 i just launched my first book uh, cinderella indonesia in english version in january okay. so be, like i have i have a lot of roadshow to to singapore and then america and australia but because of the coronavirus uh, we postponed it but yeah actually i would like to help uh, women and kids we are focused on 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 women and kids education so that's why we we built a cinderella from indonesia in 2012. 
And uh, I write it, the story in, in my first book. So you made, of course, a very important job to support uh, children many times. Uh, we only think about adults and uh, we sometimes we forgot about children and how it's important to uh, intervene uh, to protect, first of all, children, especially in this uh, coronavirus. And I was showing uh, also a bit of your activity because as social entrepreneurs, you also made a lot for uh, Indonesia during uh, this coronavirus. Uh, can you explain this a bit? So we are seeing you like uh, here in the distribution, to yeah, distribution. Actually, yeah, if uh, for for daily need, daily need packets distribution, actually we already started every month since two, okay. 2012. Not not only during coronavirus, but because of the coronavirus. So we we now we add more. So actually, every month we we always giving one hundred uh, daily packets for wow. our street children. So we we taking care uh, one hundred street children since two thousand eleven two thousand twelve. But because of the coronavirus, I ha I had a, I have support from uh, Indonesia Employer Association. We call it Apindo. Now we okay. we we prepare. We preparing one hundred thousand packets daily needs uh, for families and orphanages. Yeah, now we we trying to finish it because a lot of a lot of people need to 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 have the daily need packets and also yeah. because of the uh, mass. We also fundraising for mass because a lot of uh, kids. Like people always always focus on the nurse doctor, but uh, we like now I focus to the kids in slum area in orphanages for giving mass, and because of the uh, Ramadan, we also giving one thousand breakfasting meals every day. We preparing to uh, orphanage home and then to people like. They don't have money. Yeah, we we preparing breakfasting uh, one thousand packets a day. Wow! So it's very. Uh, let's see also uh, a nice video that you sent me about this. So let's see uh, together. <laughs> So in Indonesia, it's a uh, 100 uh, the right mask, and because of course it's Indonesian, so I cannot translate it. So it's a. Uh, uh, it is just a small contribution in my island. Actually, a lot of, uh, uh, especially if you say about alumni, I feel yeah. a lot of, a lot of activities. Yeah, but I stay in a small island, so. This is a kind of small contribution as as a citizen, yeah, to support the community. Of, of course, uh, a little drop can make the difference, and it's very important uh, to do this. Danang, what do you think about this uh, activity in general, and how, how is your feeling about this? Personally, I mean, I'm really touched by what uh, has been done by Ibu Lucia. Uh, uh, frankly speaking, uh, this really touched my heart, and uh, what has been done by I Ibu Lucia. I really appreciate what you have your, what you have been done, Ibu. Ibu actually means senora in Italia. So Senora, okay. I really appreciate <laughs> what what, uh, what uh, she's doing, and then this is really about solidarity because we know exactly that solidarity. Uh, be it in term of international solidarity, regional solidarity, community solidarity, is this, uh, solidarity is not luxury, but it is a necessity right now. So I think I really appreciate what has been done by Ibu Lucia. This is not small things, Ibu. I think this is a big things. Maybe maybe uh, others will see this is only small uh, donation, but if we can collect yeah. this one, 
it will be bigger and then it will be really valuable for less fortunate person who really affected by coronavirus. So I think I uh, really appreciate what you have uh, been done. And then the second thing, uh, Pierre and Ibu Lucia, I think uh, this is about women empowerment because uh, she mentioned about, yeah. you know, having, uh, you know, uh, creating jobs for women uh, in prison. Yeah. So yeah. I think women empowerment delivers in Indonesia. And I think we have the right example here, Ibu Lucia. And uh, yeah, I hope that uh, you still doing that one and then uh, hope the best for you, for, for you, for you. Uh, company because uh, you you mentioned that uh, you have to stop right now but uh, we believe that again we will wake up we will raise stronger after this uh, pandemic uh, coronavirus definitely really Lucia, do you, want, really you want to add something oh uh, no i just like uh, thank you for connect me and then like sharing our small contribution that I think a lot of alumni IPLP doing a great job. I just like, uh, because of I stay in, in Batam Island, not so many people uh, realize about this island. So, but actually, yeah, we, we doing something, even it is a small for helping the government. So now we are, we are preparing, like I said, uh, we have a lot of activities uh, for for prisons for women inmates okay. we are we are preparing 500 breakfasting meals and oh. also now uh, preparing one 100,000 daily packets for poor families thanks so the time is running fast especially when uh, i see and we all see all together the amazing job that you are both making inside indonesian and outside indonesian and as Danang saying, even a, a little thing that, that can change only one life is uh, very important. I want to close just to asking you uh, what you remember about the IBL free program. Let me uh, say the IBL free program is an international visitor leadership program and is a program funded by uh, US uh, government. So uh, Danang, you was in 2018 for uh, Asian. Do you have a good memory from this uh, program? <laughs> what do indeed, you indeed. Yeah, indeed. And actually, uh, to my views, I really appreciate this program, IVLP program. I got the benefit of joining this program, uh, connecting uh, with other people, and then also what is like creating networks and so on. And again, I'm, I'm really happy that uh, Pierre, for example, now you, you have this program. You have uh, the program of connecting IVLP and also asking what they do in their life. And I think yeah. this, this uh, coronavirus, it is really uh, encouraging. It is really inspirational. And then we hope that uh, what uh, we, we have done, uh, you know, during this coronavirus can also a little bit inspire uh, everybody. Because again, this is a global fight against uh, yeah. coronavirus. Yeah. This is not a single fight. This is a global fight. Yeah. So we have to be uh, united. We have to be collaborated. Again, collaboration, solidarity is not uh, a luxury. It is a necessity right now. And then uh, again, you know, I believe that uh, we can we can overcome, we can come out from this uh, pandemic coronavirus uh, stronger, healthier, and wiser. I think why wiser? Because uh, maybe we are talking about negative side of coronavirus, but actually yeah. to my views, coronavirus also brings positive things because we know that mother uh, nature got heal pollution less so less yeah. pollution right now and then uh, every morning here in in rome in italy i always hear you know lovely birds so many lovely birds singing every day. so i think we have to be uh, to, to to wake up more wiser for mother nature this is true uh, Lucia, you're thinking about the IELP program, and then we go to close, unfortunately. Okay, yeah, IELP program, it's, uh, for me, it's a turning point, because at the time, I'm, I, I, I was chosen in the right time when I got divorced and then desperate, but lucky I get IELP, so it makes me a stronger, and then I have a lot of connection until now. We. I, I still connect with my host family and also with the, the supervisor from the U.S. Department of State. Like, 
almost every month we we say hello and then i i give an update for my activities and i have a good connection not only in indonesia but also to the world so definitely uh, a bridge that uh, connecting uh, all of us uh, unfortunately the time is uh, over uh, if you have a last sentence that you want to to sell to, to other to our people that's following us and then we go to close Danang, do you have a final message for us that you want to, to um, say? I think the final message is about sharing, caring, and support. And then uh, again, Andra Tutobene, uh, we know that uh, we will come up uh, better, safer, and wiser. And just like uh, that has been mentioned in the song as a background of the video clip, our video clip, embassy video clip, it's called Lililin yeah. Kecil. We know exactly that they always light at the end of the tunnel, and then we we hope the best uh, for that time. Lucia, a final message to all, especially that you are dealing with children. Okay, because like I am dealing with the children, so I think my message like uh, just be happy and be kind. Everything will be okay. Like like Pak Danang said that every final like. At the end, we, we can see the light. So just be happy and be kind. That's true. So I want to close this global IVOP chat with a big terima kasih. A big terima kasih to you, to both of you, for the work that you have made it here in Indonesia and outside of Indonesia, but because you are saving life, changing life, doing your job and your activity. And this is important, and we cannot forget so terima kasih to all of you Prego. thank you very much thank you dan angoskito counselor of the embassy of indonesia to italy thank you uh, to lucia kiorian ceo of cinderella from Hi. indonesia thank you so much and thank you for watching us and the Hi. next random will be with costa rica so following us to the next i will speak global chat so okay. thank you so much Terima kasih, terima kasih to everybody. Terima kasih, terima kasih. 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 Terima kasih, terima kasih